Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Thursday morning, March 24th, we are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and SPY. So, we wanted volatility back into our trading lives. Well, our 10 largest volumes, heaviest volumes this year have come in this month, and 6 out of our 10 largest ranges. So, March has provided that after a sleepy start in January and February. We said yesterday, uh, market was very jittery after taking back the shorts the first two hours of the trading day, ripping them apart, only to come right back in and make new lows and take out the previous day's low, and then have L&M come right back up and take back the single prints. So again, a pretty much a huge price vacuum inside of yesterday. We said if we open inside of there, you're going to need your hard hats. Well, right now it looks like, for now, with 75 minutes to go, possible, possible gap. Again, there's still time. We've had nothing but gaps this year, although recently they have slowed down. Uh, I am in fours, so I'm not sure how wide this overnight is. If it is 15 or uh, wide or more, I'll carry it forward. As far as NQ, so far they have not taken out yesterday's low in their overnight. They have a wide overnight pock. Again, I'm five wide there. And the Russell, which has been the weakest because of uh, having the exposure to the banks, also looking to possibly gap lower. So game plan for this morning. Again, with 75 minutes to go, gaps have not held this year. So if we do gap lower, again, it, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword. If it's too big a gap, I don't want to take it right away. And if the gap's not that big, the odds of it holding aren't that good. But that doesn't mean if the gap fills, you can't look for a short. Right now, right now, early, again, overnight halfback is right around value low. So if anything, sellers would be starting with um, lower value. And right now, the indices are down 8, 9 tenths of a percent. So they could have both those things in their corner. So you can take a short against the gap. If the gap fills, you can even add to it because a lot of times that's what all those algos want to do as a target. Where basically we always talk about lines in the sand early. Well, my line in the sand early is value low and half back overnight low for now. Now that could change. Obviously, if we make lower lows, half back's going to come lower. So your real bottom line would be yesterday's value low. Any acceptance back inside of yesterday's value, again, is a price vacuum. The wide overnight pocket is nothing inside of here. Okay, so those are things um, to keep in mind. As far as a long play right now, again, not much of one. We do have habits of front running the overnight lows. So depending on where that is this morning, that is something you could possibly do. But again, um, our downside, next targets would be 3250 daily low and then those single prints, 32 and a quarter to 22 and a quarter from March 16th. So those would be targets to hit. Not sure if I'd want to take a long against them either at that point. In fact, I'd probably be waiting for more MGI or better MGI to give buyers uh, better odds. I'm not, not liking a long right now as this market. Again, we thought we had directional movement late Wednesday. Well, they took it away from us for the two hours yesterday and then again attempted in the afternoon yesterday. Let's see if we're going to get any continuity and follow through this morning. These short-term traders are incredibly fragile and fickle. We'll be recapping all of these charts tonight. Right now, I'll just show you the daily. I do have the daily down right now uh, in the SPY and the ES. Um, again, we're below or right around. Well, actually, right now, pre-market, we're below all of the averages Right now, the 200s at 392.44, so we're about uh, two and a half dollars below it pre-market as of right now. We again, if we continue this downward slope, the big first uh, big target would be the 380.65 level, which is last week's low. And again, if that doesn't hold into this balance, and the bottom of that would which would be 374.77. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this channel. Good luck trading today, and we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.